And now I'd like to read the last 26 lines from the book, My Family and Other Animals. This is all about the family's departure from Corfu and their friends are standing on the shore waving them goodbye. Theodore, neat and erect, his stick raised in grave salute, his beard twinkling in the sun. Krilevsky, bobbing and ducking and waving extravagantly. Spiro, barrel bodied and scowling, alternately wiping his eyes with his handkerchief and waving it to us. As the ship drew across the sea and Corfu sank shimmering into a pearly heat haze on the horizon, a black depression settled on us, which lasted all the way back to England. The grimy train scuttled its way up from Brindisi towards Switzerland, and we sat in silence, not wishing to talk. Above our heads on the rack, the finches sang in their cages. The magpies chucked and hammered with their beaks, and Aleko gave a mournful yarp at intervals. Around our feet, the dogs lay snoring. At the Swiss frontier, our passports were examined by a disgracefully efficient official. He handed them back to Mother, together with a small slip of paper, bowed unsmilingly, and left us to our gloom. Some moments later, Mother glanced at the form the official had filled in, and as she read it, she stiffened. Just look what he's put, she exclaimed indignantly. Impertinent man. Larry stared at the little form and snorted. Well, that's the penalty you pay for leaving Corfu, he pointed out. On the little card in the column-headed description of passengers had been written in neat capitals, one travelling circus and staff. What a thing to write, said Mother, still simmering. Really, some people are peculiar. The train rattled towards England.